it guys welcome back to the channel if you've been here before if you haven't been here before um, subscribe to the channel I'm always trying to bring information to you guys uh, to help you out with whether it's with dieting or exercising uh, we'll be having all sorts of different types of videos some with um, different foods to eat to keep you full and help you maintain a nice healthy physique um, but enough of that, we'll go, jump into the topic of the video today, which is why being in shape and or bodybuilding is so dangerous. So, um, let's start off by talking about the body fat percentage. So most of your fitness influencers and people that step on stage competing bodybuilding are at a sub 10% body fat percent. Now, there are a select few people that can maintain sub 10% body fat and be healthy, have like healthy testosterone levels, healthy hormone levels. Um, but those are like the outliers. 90 plus, 98, 99% of us cannot get down sub 10% and maintain that year round and be healthy at the same time. Um, my my cutoff for my body fat is right around 10%. Whenever I get down below there in the single digits, my body just starts to go haywire. It freaks out on me. I'm only at about 8% body fat right now. I still have like another 4% to drop till I step on stage. I'm like almost seven weeks out right now. So I still have 4% to drop and I feel like total ass. Like, if I'm not drinking coffee constantly, you might as well forget about me even moving. This is my third pot of coffee today. I mean, does that does that sound healthy at all? I have issues just walking around uh, for extended periods of time. My legs just feel like they are completely wore out, and just I just want to sit. I just want to sit around and do absolutely nothing. Is basically the extent of it. So. Um, other things that happen whenever your body fat gets to a certain below a certain point you start starving for food I don't care whether you make the low calorie foods that I put up on this channel you can eat two three bags of lettuce make a huge salad for like three five hundred calories and you can eat to the point where your stomach is bulging out I mean you cannot stomach another bite of food but your brain is still firing and saying you need to eat more you need to get out and have this you need to eat this and it's not a um, it's not a disordered eating eating disorder it's not it's your body's evolutionary process it realizes that you are at a susceptible spot and your body fat is too low to optimally function so it's telling you you need to eat more to up your body fat to a healthy range now, if you let, if you come off the diet and you let your brain just take control of everything, you will end up with a binge eating disorder until you get up to your max end of your like homeostasis set point. And then you'll slowly come off of it. I did that the first time I came off my diet. I was binge eating probably at least 10,000 calories a day for about a month and a half, two months straight before I was able to get a handle on things and realize what the hell was going on. So, since then I have learned, you come off of the diet, you slowly up the calories. You add like an extra 50, 100 calories here, then maintain that for a week, and add an extra 100 calories the next week. Just slowly up them, that way you don't end up with the binge eating disorders. Um, but back to um, the sub 10% body fat. Some other issues is you get a naturally, you're naturally suppressed with your testosterone or other hormones start going haywire your testosterone starts getting suppressed because your body's trying to save calories to function in other areas that it needs it the most like they keep your heart beating or your brain functioning it's going to suppress your testosterone because it's not going to want to waste calories on that especially if you can't um if you can't feed yourself enough to stay healthy your body is not going to want you to have another kid so that's that's one negative side effect and it's not just your sperm count that gets uh, suppressed 
your um, your sex drive, no, nah, it's like non-existent. I mean, stuff still works, but you could care less whether it happens. Um, and after a certain point, it will it won't work. And it's just plain and simple. There is um, there's there's definitely a certain point. Everyone's different, but once you go below that point, you you realize whenever you're below that point. Believe me. Um, anger is another major thing. You're hangry. Yeah, that's that's a real thing. Um, I I have issues with that. When I get sub ten percent body fat, and just takes a lot to restrain everything and not say hateful things to every single person you come across. I mean, your temper gets short. Some some things that people do that you're like, yeah, it is what it is. Whenever you're just eating normal, whenever you're down dieted down this this lean they say something that's like slightly irritating and bam you're instantly ticked off you're ready to go you're ready to fight them it's not a um well i don't know about fight because you're too wore out to fight but <laughs> um some things to combat um all these negative side effects of being this lean and that's not to get this lean for most people you want to be for males anyways you want to be sub 20% body fat somewhere between 12% is usually the leanest they can be healthy at and still maintain your um, fully functioning testosterone level and 20% I feel the best at like 12 to 15 I feel energetic I feel full of energy I'm ready to go um, how I feel now going to the gym taking pre-workout is how I feel at 12 to 15 percent going to the gym without taking pre-workout maybe even better at 12 to 15 percent without the pre-workout that's how drastic of a um, of a difference it is um, and most most people they say they want 7% body fat. They want to be ripped and lean. You don't realize how lean 12% body fat looks. 12% is most um, six packs on the beach. That's usually about 12 to 15%. You're still seeing all your abs at 12 to 15% normally. You might have the bottom two covered up, but there's still, you can still see like the slight outlines of them. So you look attractive you don't look peeled to the bone you don't look like disgustingly shredded but you look attractive I mean I think that's what most people actually want to go for they don't want the um, Ronnie Coleman um, Phil Heath shredded physiques they just want to look like a healthy person um, so yeah diet down to wherever you feel comfortable at stop and maintain that don't don't keep pushing your body to see how far you can actually push it unless you have a goal in mind. With Like for me, I want to step on stage, I want to body build. So I have a goal in mind. There's a reason why all the wires ain't connecting to my head and I'm crazy enough to die down at this point. 99%, 99.99% of the world isn't, um, isn't crazy enough to do this crap. I mean, just the idea of building the muscle to step on stage and place on a higher level takes a certain mindset where all the wires normally aren't connected or they aren't connected. I mean, you look at all the best competitors in the world. You have Ronnie Coleman and Phil Heath, Jay Cutler, all these guys. Do you think all the wires are fully connected in their head where they can push an insane amount of weight so they cannot move no more and then go do another set, you really think all the wires connected. No, we're freaking insane. To push your body till it is literally broken down where you can't even do half the half of what your normal weight is. Where you're doing your warm up weight and you can only get out for four reps because your muscles are cramping up so freaking bad, but you still push out another three reps. That's the insanity there. And then after that you go home get some sleep and you get back in the gym and you repeat it all over again it's not a um, it's not something that everyone has the ability to do or everyone has the ability to go into the gym and get in shape 
but not everyone has the ability to go in there and work out like a freak of nature and put on 300 pounds of muscle stepping on stage. I'm not even to that point. I mean, I'm nowhere near that. I'm sitting at like 235 pounds, I'm six foot three. I'm a big guy, but still, I'm six foot three weighing that much. You have a lot of guys that the IFBBs that are five foot six weighing as much as I am. It's pr frankly pretty mind blowing, even for me still. Um, so yeah, if you're dying down at this point, just realize the negative side effects that you are gonna have. It's not gonna be fun. You aren't gonna enjoy it. If you want something that you're gonna enjoy, stay at the 12 to 15% range. Be healthy. Um, don't, don't try to maintain a sub 10% body fat if you can't. I know of a fitness influencer that died because he tried to maintain 5% body fat for like two years straight and eventually his heart gave out. It's mm. a really sad story to see that happen to people. Um, if you have a disorder with it, you just can't, your mind can't handle being above that, you need to go get help. Um, the same way also if you're 30 plus percent body fat and morbidly obese, you need to get help, you need to lose weight. I'm not going to tell you you look okay at 25-30% body fat. That's like telling a cancer patient they look totally fine because they have, even if they have cancer, they look totally fine. And uh, they're healthy just the way they are. So that's, that's, not, that's not tell them otherwise, we might offend them. No, if they have cancer, you tell them you need to go to the doctor to get that fixed. The same way if they're obese, you tell them that they need to lose weight, quit eating, so they can be healthier. Because ultimately, the more overweight you are, the more chance you have of dying at a very, very young age. You don't see people that are five, 600 pounds in their 80s and 90s. Why is that? Well, because they done had a heart attack because their heart couldn't keep up with as much fat on their body. So, um, enough of a rant on that. Um, just try to be healthy. If you are 30% body fat or 35% body fat and you drop 5%, even if you aren't down under in the normal range, you're still considered overweight, you're still healthier losing just that 5% than what you were the day before. Um, that's, that's all that fitness really is, is being better tomorrow than what you are today. So push yourself and um, learn to eat right. I have some videos on this channel about meal prepping and some different high volume foods that you can make and eat that'll keep you full and help you stick on track with your diet. If you disagree with anything, by all means, comment it down below. If you agree, comment down below. Give me some feedback on the videos. Maybe I can do more videos like this. And um, like, and like I said, comment and subscribe to the channel. And I believe I covered everything that I needed to cover. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.